Hi there, Corel Painter Essentials and Corel Painter 10, or earlier version. Users, welcome to my site, and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to do is show you how to create a tracing. Now, for the artistic people among you, you don't care. Uh, for the artistically challenged, like myself, well, this is a big deal. So I'm going to show you how to do it, because it's really simple and it's fun, and uh, I think everything you do with your digital editing software and your Wacom tablet, because that's what you got to be using to do this. I can't imagine that you could do this with a mouse. Uh, you you got to have fun at it, and this is fun. Now you know this guy, right? This is uh, a uh, a clone of Austin Powers. And uh, I shot him, I didn't shoot him, I took his picture at a digital imaging show, because he was hanging around letting people take pictures of him. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna we're gonna trace this guy. Now we could do it on a layer, but that's not as good as the as the real way. The real way is to go to your file menu, and you can see it's popped down over here. And uh, with Corel Painter Essentials 3 at least, you've got a thing called Quick Clone, and you do you click that, and that gives you this. Now you can see it's kind of funny looking now. That's because there's a piece of tr uh, tracing paper over top of the picture, and if I hit the Control or the Command T. It turns on and off the tracing paper. Also, you can also turn it off. See this this gigantic button that Corel put on here? It's it's like one pixel by one pixel, I think. If you if you tap on that with your pen, it turns it off and on. And in the middle, in the exact middle, there's this little gray thing. You can hardly see it. If you hold it down, it gives you these numbers. And these numbers are the opacity of the tracing paper. So if I go to 60%, you can see it's 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 hardly well, it's hard to see it then. And we go to 90%. Um, being artistically disin disinclined, I think I'll I'll stay there. Maybe I'll make it a bit less. I want to see my opacity showing up. Okay, there we go. Now, when you when you make a quick clone, oftentimes your colors will do this. This little clone thing will be depressed. What you want to do is take it off. So you got all colors. And I am going to choose one of the tools. Now this is the uh, the toolbar for Painter Essentials and there's all these things in it. I'm going to go with pencils. And this one drops down. You got two of them. If it's Painter 10 you've got, you've got like a million. I didn't know there's a million pencils but you got a lot. So I'm going to use this 2B pencil. So we're going to move this off and we're going to move this off. Now I've got my master opacity set to 50%, and uh, on the uh, tablet I'm using a Wacom and 2 so the same as the, ba the bamboo will do the same thing. Uh, light pressure will give you a light line, heavy pressure will give you a dark line like that. Now let me turn off the... Uh, there, see? See what it does? Isn't that neat? Okay, so I'm just going to get rid of that, and we're going to start our tracing. Now I'm not going to be able to do this whole thing of Austin, but we can get some of them done. So let's zoom in here and bring them down a little bit. There. Now, get back to my pencil and you choose, that's your tool here. That means your brushes and we've got pencil selected. So, let's just kind of start, you know. The nice thing about the uh, tablet is that it's pressure sensitive and it allows you to get around places and, and have some light opacity and some dark and you can see I'm doing just a great job. You can see why I have to do this this way because I can't draw where they're wet. And you can change the brush size and uh, change the opacity if you want, but you can use the opacity with your uh, with your pen. And you set up the opacity whether you have a heavy hand or a light hand, you set that up in your control panel or your system preferences if you're a Mac user. And up here, now I have a problem other than the fact that I can't draw where it beans. Um, I have a hard time doing parallel lines, or horizontal lines. I go all over the place. You can see what I've just done there. Now if I flip my pen over, it becomes the eraser. Isn't that cool? And when I finish erasing what I just did, I can blow off the digital dust off the tablet and away we go. Now what I want to do is this horizontal line, but I can't do horizontal lines. So, in your um, in your toolbar, which is here, you got this little hand tool. If you press and hold on that, you get this little round circle thing. What that does is it allows you to do this. You can spin it. And choose my pencil again. Now I can do horizontal. I can do vertical lines, okay. But I can't do, well, see? 
I, I will pretend that that's artistic license. Okay, so there we've got some of that done. Uh, we'll do this. This is really confusing watching it like this, isn't it? But there's a lot of vertical lines in here, or horizontal lines. I can't even describe what they are. And we'll do the old mouth here. The teeth should be fun because he has notoriously bad teeth. Mr. Powers does. And come around here. Okay, so how are we doing here? Now we're doing his hair. Hairline. Oops, see, that's a vertical line. I gotta erase that. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of this chinny chin chin thing. And now I'm gonna spin it back. To spin him back to zero, just double click on it. See, isn't that cool? Now get my tool again. And just keep going. And eventually I'll have a picture of Austin Powers. Now it's going to take a lot longer than uh, than we've got here to do this. But let's t see how it looks. Now I'm going to I'm going to do c control T. See? Now it's coming along. If I do 100%, that's it when you zoom out. Cuz I'm zoomed in, of course. And let's move it down a bit. So, if you ever wondered how you could ever make yourself a nice line drawing, this is how you do it. It's fun to do, and it's fairly effective. And at the end of it, if I wanted to, I could take this uh, red coat of his and put a new layer on there. See, isn't that great? And uh, and and paint it with, a, say, a digital watercolor, because the digital watercolor is quite fun to use. Now his hair. Oh, his hair. Let's see what we can do with his hair. Get out of there. And then I'll stop tormenting you with this uh, with this technique. Uh, he kind of has a part down there. And some hair up there. And there. Okay, so let's... I'm almost embarrassed to try this, but let's, let's see how he looks. There's 100%. And we'll turn off the digital paper. See? It's coming along. I know that you would probably recognize him exactly who he is if I just showed you that picture. You'd say, dude, what a great drawing that is. <laughs> and I would laugh. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Control T. There, see? It's coming along. If I went slowly, took a lot of time, I'd get a good one. So that's how you do it. I didn't get his teeth. His teeth? Well, yeah, we got to do his teeth. We'll quickly do his teeth, and then we'll we'll stop this. Because uh, it's uh, Mr. Powers. That's that's his uh, claim to fame. Was bad teeth, wasn't it? Oh, I'm just gonna go very lightly over them with uh, with a brush. Okay, Control T and 100%. Double tap on the. Oh <laughs> okay, I apologize for my terrible efforts, but now you know how to do it, and you can probably do it better than I can. So thanks for watching. I hope you learned something from this. Um, I didn't know if I was going to do this tutorial. I've been humming and hawing over this one for about a month. <laughs> Decided to do it. What the heck? I can uh, I can look like a fool and take it. So thanks for watching. I do appreciate your time and I do appreciate your attention. And uh, give it a try because it's a lot of fun. And visit my site if you came in through YouTube www.the-graphics-tablet.com. You'll find this one under the Painter 10 tab. And uh, have yourself a great day. And I appreciate your time.